Hey guys, this is Leo from the Pwn Clan. Today we've got an awesome gameplay from our very own Pwn Clan member, Cameron. At the beginning, he was a little bit newbie, a little bit campy. Actually, no, not even campy. It was just a bit newbie and a bit of a cunt, really. But then, as the game progresses, he does really well. And I just want to say well done, Cameron, because usually you're shit, aren't you? And yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, yeah, usually he's quite bad. Like, can't even get UAV, which is quite... Yeah. Quite annoying having him with us. Today, um, I was using the MP7. I play well with it sometimes, get good high score streaks. And yeah, right now I was a bit lazy just going for those kills. And then pretty on lately, I get good score streaks. As you can see, you can't really speak properly. Pretty on lately, great. Uh, so, Cameron, is there anything you want to say, like specifically? Um, yeah, I was using the MP7, fast mag, suppressor, and quick draw, and I only have like four deaths, then I do, I get the high score streaks. How many? I get three stealth choppers, two VTOL warships, and like three care packages. That's quite good. And did you get any yeah. of them in one life, or? Well, they were broken up. Yeah, I did. Um, in one life, I got two Vito warships and I think specifically two self choppers. Or was it almost three or something like that? I can't even remember. Yeah. I've only watched it once, but that guy just there is an idiot, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um. I just want to say well done, Cameron, because usually you struggle to get a UAV, let alone a fucking Vito warship. I mean, do you remember all those days yeah. when we used to rage you for going, Oh, I was one off a of Vito, uh, no, not a Vito, uh, a UAV, it's so annoying, oh, oh, you little bugger. But you've done really well, and how many times have you um, boosted Cameron in this game? Oh. Black Ops 2, but that's a bit of a lie, isn't it, Cameron? Yeah. <laughs> but it's pretty good. I did, it was kill confirmed on Meltdown. I think I did 60 to 4. Somewhere around that. Um. So, yeah. Let's, t let's tell them the story of that summer holidays where we played Modern Warfare 3. Why don't you go ahead and tell them, Cameron? Okay, so basically. Me and Leo and no, 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 it wasn't me and you. I boosted with you for 20 me and my minutes. And we, we boosted just for comfort, prestige, and for the fun of it. But then we suddenly realised we were about to get banned from Modern Warfare 3, Modern Warfare 3 servers, which is a bit stupid of us. But then, yeah, we got banned. And reset. Yeah. And, and actually oh, yeah, earlier we, we played actually earlier we played Modern Warfare 3 didn't we um, yeah. and we're actually quite good at that yeah I'm not gonna lie but Modern Warfare 3 is a decent game it's so easy though isn't it so so easy yeah. but I'm surprised how yeah. good your stealth dropper did but guys if you look at the group he was with and the group like the enemies they're all really low ranked Prestige 1s, Prestige 0s, and I think the highest was a Prestige 3 or 4, I can't remember. Cameron was Prestige 4, there was a Prestige 3 in there, but yeah. So, not the usual lobbies that we see, but for Cameron, this is fucking awesome. What well, did you get 59 to 4? Yeah. That's really great, and, and you got this in the morning as well, didn't you? First VTOL. First yeah. ever VTOL, well done. So, your first ever so VTOL, you got yeah. a double VTOL. Your first two VTOLs were in the same life. That's really good. Everybody give Cameron a little bit of a clap. Thanks, guys. <laughs> so, uh, guys, if you want to find out... Well, if you like the gameplays stuff on this channel, for, uh, for Battlefield 3, then why don't you go out and check Two and a Half Negroes? Mine and my blackie friend. This is our chat... Well, yeah. Two and a Half Negroes, our friend... Our channel is called Two and a Half Negroes, as I've said about four, about four times. I haven't been in commentary in a while. Sorry, it's so shit, but okay. Just want to say, go over to Two and a Half Negroes. It's, it's really good. It's great. We highly recommend you. We've done that channel to about Phil's fans, and we 
just want everyone to check out me. At the end yeah. of this video, at the end of this video, I'm going to be playing a little bit of, um, what the fuck it's called, uh, of our intro music, just to give you a little bit of, actually no, just, just screw it, I'm going to show you our whole intro for Two and a Half Negroes at the end of this, so just stay tuned and you'll be able to see our nigga 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 intro, intro, nigga intro, yeah, so that'd be really great. The gameplay is nowhere near finished and already we've run out of things to say. Cameron, do you have any funny things like that's happened in your life just to talk about for a bit? Oh, how about the time you broke your nose? Tell them how you broke your nose, Cameron. Tell them the full story. Try and drag it on a bit. Try and make it long. Let's make it short. No, let's make it long. No, let's tell them the full story. No, I'm right. Shall I tell it? And I'll make it really embarrassing. You can tell it, Cameron. Come on. You say it. No, okay. No, Cameron. You say it. Okay, I'll say it. Oh, God. Rashad's at the door. Um, I'm going to say... I'm going to tell you the story of how Cameron broke his nose. Well... One day, everybody was playing heads and vaults, and if you're not familiar with the game, there's a goal, and you have to either header it into the goal, or you have to volley it into the goal, and if you miss, or if you, if it goes in and it had a bounce, so it wasn't a volley, or if you headed it, and it wasn't really a header, because it bounced, or something like that, if something like that happened, then you'd go in goal, and the last person in goal after 20, or a certain amount yeah, of... sadly me. Uh, a certain amount of headers and vols, then you would have to stand in the goal with your hands on, like pressed up against the wall, and they would everybody else would pelt balls in. So Cameron, the little silly bugger, twat, hole, dick that he is, he was last in goal, seeing as he's pretty bad at football. So he was sitting there with his hands up against the wall, and somebody kicked the ball at him. Who was it, Cameron? Who who kicked the ball at you? Was it Sonny or someone? Or Leo. I exactly he doesn't exactly know. Probably Thomas. Thomas is a year. Um, Thomas is a year seven. Who beat Cameron up and we're year eight. So Cameron should be pretty sad about that. Nice little quad feed, by the way. Um, but anyway, I'm going to tell you the rest of the story. Uh, he was playing and they kicked the ball and it smacked against the wall and it smacked him in the face. And he f then fell forwards after getting smacked in the face, <laughs> smashed his nose on the wall, and then had to be rushed off the a &E with a broken nose because he got hit in the face with a ball and then fell forwards again and hit the wall. And Cameron, did you get a triple? Did you get a triple? Um, whatever it's called? You got triple uh, stealth triple, didn't you? Anyway, yeah, guys, hey, it's just life. this gameplay is coming to an end, so I'm going to say goodbye from me. And Cameron, do you want to say goodbye, little twat? Alright, see you guys. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Yep, do what he said.